Hello and welcome to Indices, Reciprocals and Model Answers. So let's begin with our first question. What is the reciprocal of 4? The first thing to notice is this is a one mark question. Quite an easy one. Now the formula that we used in our tutorial was x to the power of minus 1, that means a reciprocal, equals 1 over x. And let's put a ring around this to highlight that this is our formula. So x to the power of minus 1 equals 1 over x. Therefore, the reciprocal of 4, which means 4 to the power of minus 1, equals 1 over 4. And that is our answer. The reciprocal of 4 is 1 quarter. Now let's move on to our next question. Number 2. What is the reciprocal of minus one half, minus a half. And again, the first thing to notice, as always, is the number of marks. This is typically a one mark question. Now, again, we're going to use the same formula. And as you will appreciate, I like to write the formulas each time as it's good practice. So the reciprocal means to the power of minus one equals one over x. Now, again, we're going to put a a ring or a circle around this to highlight that that is our formula. So let's work this out. We have x to the power of minus 1 and our number is minus a half. Now you can leave the half, we're going to leave the half outside the brackets to the power of minus 1. This equals, we've got the minus sign, that doesn't change, the half becomes inverted. So we turn it upside down. Minus 2. So the reciprocal of minus a half is minus 2. Now moving on to our next question. Number 3. Simplify 3 quarters to the power of minus 1. So the question could be worded slightly differently. Simplify 3 quarters to the power of minus 1. Now again, the first thing to notice is that this is again a one mark question. We're going to use the same formula as we do for reciprocals. So we have x to the power of minus 1 equals 1 over x. Now again, we're going to put a ring around this. And now we can answer our question. So we have 3 quarters to the power of minus 1. Now using our formula, to get rid of the minus sign, we turn the 3 quarters upside down. So this simply becomes 4 over 3. So 3 quarters to the power of minus 1 equals 4 thirds. And as it said simplify, the correct answer is 1 and a third. So 4 thirds is 1 and a third. And that is our answer. Now, if there are two marks for this question, it's simplifying it from four thirds to one and one third will get you the extra mark. Moving on to our next question, number four. Simplify one and four sevenths to the power of minus one. 1 and 4 sevenths to the power of minus 1. Now the first thing to notice here is that this is a 2 mark question. 1 mark for getting the correct answer and 1 mark for showing all the workings out. So the first step is to write our formula for reciprocals. So we write down x to the power of minus 1 equals 1 over x. Now we've done this so many times that you should know this formula very well by now. Now 
Okay, so let's have a look at our question. We have 1 and 4 sevenths to the power of minus 1. The first step is to turn this proper fraction into an improper one. So 1 and 4 sevenths is simply, and I'll write this down, you don't have to write this down, but 1 and 4 sevenths is 11 over 7. So this becomes 11 over 7. So we've turned the 1 and 4 sevenths into 11 over 7. Put the brackets in, minus to the power of minus 1. And using our formula, we turn the 11 sevenths upside down. So that becomes 7 over 11. And that is our answer. 1 and 4 sevenths to the power of minus 1 equals 7 elevenths. And we cannot simplify that any further.